Hey guys, welcome back to Homebody Review, and um, I just wanted to go over a few things. Um, if you just purchased your GE Opal Ice Maker, um, you definitely want to go ahead and start to clean uh, the unit. So you want to definitely begin the cleaning process when you initially power up. So it only requires a 120, 120 volt outlet, so it's just a standard operation. If you purchase the GE Opal Cleaning Kit, you can pour in the solution inside. And then from there, you can go ahead and begin the, the actual cleaning process. So if you don't have the cleaning kit, that's okay. You can just go ahead and create a solution on your own. So all you would need is just five cups of water and then one teaspoon of household bleach. You'd pour this in into the reservoir tank, which is inside here, it would run the cleaning cycle. So make sure um, you turn around your unit and you switch the unit from ice to the cleaning mode. You're basically going to go ahead and you're going to notice that the round button and again if this is if you have the first generation. So this is sort of kind of like the the merge or the forging between GE, the partnership between first build and GE. And so what you need to do is once you notice that you got that yellow um, pulsating light, just go ahead and press the button. And so that will basically start the pump and water will begin to circulate in your system. So once you've done that and the, the pulsing light stops, so make sure you run, you can run this, the clean cycle three times and then after it stops and the light is uh, no longer yellow or pulsing, um, you'll basically unhook the back of the drain lines in the back into the sink and just allowing that uh, solution to, to just run out of the system. You replace the drain lines and hook them back in and then Put in some fresh cut, uh, fresh uh, water, flush the system, and run the cycle three more times. And uh, each time, draining the tubes into the sink. So that'll help to click and completely flush out all that clean solution inside the system. So um, there was a, a question that was brought to me in the comment section. So I definitely wanted to um, to go over that. Uh, I know this this unit. Uh, the cleaning process is a little bit, um, it's very tedious and it does take a long time to complete, but it's definitely worth it. We leave ours running 24 seven guys. So um, you can schedule with the GE Opal. So this one right here, it comes with uh, the Bluetooth connectivity. This does not have Wi-Fi built in like the GE Opal 2.0. So um, this does, you can schedule your ice to fall, you can monitor your ice, you can also turn on and off the LED light and things of that nature. We leave it on 24 seven and so that we have a steady flow of ice dropping at all times of the day. So um, if you guys might want to schedule your ice, you might not, you might want to keep it plugged in all the time like us, that's fine. It basically just depends on your preference. A cleaning process for this guys, um, for the exterior surfaces, uh, GE recommends that you use, you can use um, a damp cloth with, uh, for the stainless steel you can use some liquid stainless steel. Um, you might want to put that onto the cloth itself for the liquid stainless steel so that you can wipe down the surfaces. Um, for the drip tray, uh, you can use uh, soapy water and you can clean that with that. And then um, the ice bin, you'd use soapy water as well too. Uh, don't use any type of harsh uh, chemicals or solvents for this thing. You just want to basically use what GE recommends or what First Build recommends uh, for the cleaning. So uh, clean it weekly, clean, keep it up, drain those lines um, so that you won't have any issues going forward. I know it would be in a perfect world, we could just leave this plugged in and not have to do any cleaning or maintenance but that's just like with anything just like with our cars we have to keep up the maintenance we have to keep up the servicing for it in order to you know for it to run longer so that's the same for this if you guys found this video helpful uh, please let me know leave a comment in the comment box below uh, i hope this um, helps you guys out as far as in like you know making a decision i know this thing is um it can be uh, a little confusing or complicated initially when you first um, you start, you know, uh, setting it up and going through the motions and everything like that. But then, once everything is set up, guys, this thing works like a dream. So um, again, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, uh, go ahead and smash that like button, uh, smash the subscribe button too, and I will definitely see you guys on the next one. Thank you so much for watching.